Hello, hello, hello. And today we are talking about my Kurt Geiger Double XL flap in the nylon and why I think it is a must have bag. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcome to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, proud to have you here. For those of you who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoy my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion to slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself and celebrating others. So, what are we talking about today? Today we are talking about the Kurt Geiger Double XL flap in the nylon, why I think it's a must have, and yeah, I'm just going to chat you through. However, firstly, let's have a quick bag of the day. And I am using my Longchamp Rousseau in the largest size in the canvas. I love this. I think it goes very well with what I'm wearing today. I've also, so I've been in the office today. So I paired it with a pair of black suede Chelsea boots for kind of work and then for fun. Oh, there we are. A six inch only maker platform pump. So there we are, that is kind of the little bit of the look and that is how we can diversify our outfits if we want to do. So there we go, that's what that could go with as well. So that then goes from kind of work with the Chelsea boots and then I think I might go out for dinner so this can then be dinner. Anyway, let's talk about what we came here to talk about. We are talking about the Kurt Geiger Double XL Flap and this is the Kensington Soft. This is a beautiful piece. It is a newer part of the collection. I bought this, I want to say two or so weeks ago. Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, two weeks ago. And I have loved it ever since. It's been a short term relationship, but you know, we, we've, we, we're moving fast. I have to say, we're moving fast. So I am absolutely loving this. I think it is beautiful. I think it is so fun. It's so vibrant, it's so playful. This. It's, it's weird to think that how can you describe your personality in a bag? I feel like this is me in a bag. I, it's bold. It's a little brash. It's vibrant. It's playful. It's, you know, a little all over the place. That is also me. It is practical. It is sturdy. It is reliable. It is, it has classic elements. To it, you know, that's kind of what I would like to say about myself. I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm someone who appreciates classic, um, but I also, you know, appreciate a bit of a twist, as as Dale would say, classic with a twist. I feel like that's what this is. The Kurt Geiger Kensington is a classic within their range. Um, it is a staple flat bag style. It is their premium flat bag style, I would say. And this is a perfect version of it. This is number three for me. I already own two. I own one in denim, which was my first, with gold hardware. I own a grey leather here with gunmetal hardware. And then I own this, which is beautiful and also has gunmetal hardware. Then this is nylon. It's just fun and vibrant and amazing. It is a practical, practical bag. I would say it actually currently has another bag inside it. That is my 40 centimeter Longchamp Le Pliage. Um, it has a pocket here. And then it also has a further pocket, which I don't think the others have from memory. Maybe some of the older styles do. Oh, it's actually got two because you've got this, you've got this, and then you've got this. But yeah, and on the front, Kirk Iger London, inspired by our city, we believe in self-expression, authenticity, and distinctive design for the individual who wants to channel their true self. Design is what we do, kindness is what you are. Get it, Kirk Geiger. Love it. That is what we believe in. We believe in expressing ourselves. We believe in living life loud here, don't we? We believe in being your authentic, true self. Yes. Absolutely we do, and I love that. It's inspired by the city, it's inspired by people. Fabulous, love that, stand for that. So why is this such a great bag? I think this is a great bag because it's so easy to use. 
You can fit basically everything you need in it, minus things like larger electronics. You can't fit a um, laptop, for example, a larger laptop. You could fit a smaller laptop or an iPad, but something like a 16 inch laptop, you would struggle. Um, but it can fit in every essential. It can be worn multiple ways. It can be worn as a crossbody, long shoulder, shoulder, you know, top handle, however you want to do it. You know, you could even just large clutch it if you really fancied it. I probably wouldn't, but you could. There's no reason why. Um, I just think it is such a versatile piece. And I think it, this particular one is more versatile than my other two, I would say. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. I loved using this. I used this when I went to Bista. And Bista Village is a funny place because there are people spending some serious sums of money there. You know, you are walking around and there is Gucci, Prada, there are Birkins, you know, here, there and everywhere. People are spending money and people have money. And it's somewhere that you can, I think, this is a feeling that I've put on myself when I've been there before, but I'm like, ooh, ooh, I feel a little bit, feel a little bit inferior here. Um, and that's no one making me feel that way. That's me making me feel that way. But with this, I certainly didn't feel that way because it felt different. It felt fun. It felt niche. It felt just, you know, I didn't see anything like it that anybody else had. And actually, I got quite a number of compliments on the bag as well. Um, and people saying, oh, that's really cool. Where's that from? So that was really nice. Um, and yeah, I think it's nice to have something that's different. It's a really good price point as well. It's £229. You can fit a significant amount in this, like I said. It's not as versatile as a, you know, let's say from a capacity perspective, one of my 40 centimetre lay pliage bags can fit more. Just because of the way that it's been designed, it can fit more. The way that this has been compartmentalised, etc. For an equivalence, for an equivalent dimension of bag, the lay pliages are a, a more robust choice. However, I would say this probably fits a similar amount to my Mulberry Bayswaters, which are again, a similar size. This is 38 centimetres, the Bayswater's 36, the lay pliages are 40. So just having that little bit of difference, I don't think makes a huge overall capacity difference. However, the way that the bag has been designed, the overall shape of it, the flexibility of it does. So this, as an example, you have the chains that run through the center, the center divider. That immediately cuts the space in the back. Immediately does. You know, you have to be able to do, to be able to move or maneuver whatever it is that you're trying to get in that back pocket in and out around those chains. So if you need something larger, it has to go in the front pocket, for example. That isn't always what you want to do because sometimes you want, let's say it's an iPad, you might want that to be flat against your body and not have that at the front, as an example. So there's just a few things to consider with it. However, star rating, it's a 10 out of 10. It is a 10 out of 10. I'm so happy that I bought this one, particularly given there's some fabulous pieces in the Kurt Geiger sale, don't get me wrong. And I bought this thinking, oh, if one of those, did I just? No, sorry, I thought I just, um, I thought my ring just um, ripped it. Um, I'm gonna put my hand there. Um, yes, I've completely lost my train of thought thinking that I ripped it. Um, fabulous pieces in the sale. And I did wonder, will I regret buying this and not just holding off? Because you know that I was holding out for the sale. And then a week before the sale, I went and, you know, spent 230 pounds on this. Every item that I'd said I was looking for went into the sale. Do I regret not buying those? And do I regret buying this instead? Oh no, 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 no. This is fabulous. I'm so pleased that I got this. I'm so pleased I got this early as well. I am rarely on the hot collections. I rarely, I rarely buy things when they're new in. I'm a sales shopper. I like to wait and be a bit thrifty. I didn't wait this time. I thought I love it, I'm going to buy it. And I'm so glad that I did. I rarely do that. It doesn't always work out for me when I do, but I, I'm really pleased that this time it has. I cannot recommend this enough. What's great with this as well is that it's lighter because it's nylon. When it's empty, it's a little bit lighter. 
but the Kensington has these really substantial chains. So I think as much as you want a bag to not be too heavy, I think there's something about chains when they're too light that just makes them feel cheap. Do you, do you know what I mean with that? Whereas these, they have some weight to them. And I love the fact that this has a scarf detailing as well. It's just such a, a beautiful piece. It, it has some edge to it, has a playfulness to it. It has a whimsy to it. And that is very much my vibe. I really enjoy this bag. I'm so pleased that I own it. Will I still maybe get one of the ones from the sale? I'll see. I'll see if they drop them down any further because sometimes they go from 50% to 70 if they haven't sold. So yeah, maybe, maybe I will. I was debating getting the pink sequin medium Kensington just because I love the pink sequins, but it's not the right size. I need the double XL flat bags. I own three other sizes of Kensington and they're nice, don't get me wrong, but they don't quite do it for me like these do. So this is my preferred size. This is what I use the most. This is what I know that I will enjoy the most. And that's what these bags are all about. They're all about use and pleasure. You should enjoy them. You should, you should want to wear them. I want to wear this and I have been. I've been loving it. It's fun, it's playful. It's everything I wanted it to be. And I just love how I look forward to using it. And that for a bag that's 230 pounds, I think it's a great thing. I think it's a great thing. I don't feel a need to try and buy a, I don't know, Chanel graffiti. No disrespect to anyone who owns one of those bags. They're lovely, they're beautiful, but this gives me everything that I need. And from a brand that I really feel like I align with and that I feel seen by and that I feel represents who I am and who those that I care about are as well. So that's really important for me. It all pieces together perfectly. It's a beautiful piece recommend it buy it buy it buy it if you can i cannot recommend it enough it's a 10 out of 10 it is my second favorite bag i would say i just don't know if the i just don't know if it will quite pick that pink longchamp for me but it is very very close um and it also has some sentimental value for me because it is the piece that i've bought myself as my you know mental health milestone so it also carries that sentimental value, but I'm loving using it. It's a fabulous bag. I cannot recommend it enough. So there we have it, everyone. That is my overview of the Kurt Geiger Double XL Flap Nylon Soft. Sorry that was a little bit chaotic. Sorry went off on some tangents, but I hope that's what you come here for. Not the most polished, but hopefully we have fun. Anyway, thank you so much as always for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Mwah.